everybody and welcome back um, to Cooking with Elisa. I have my guest here with me today, Libby, and she is going to help us make a cream of mushroom soup today. Um, today started not so great. We were headed to the pool and um, they had closed the street. Yes, Libby's still in her bathing suit. They had closed the street to our pool and after trying our best going around, asking people how we could get through, we couldn't make it through. Um, so I just gave up and came home and said, I'm going to cook. Cooking is some of the best therapy. So we are going to do this recipe, have some lunch, and then we're going to head back and try the pool again. And hopefully they'll be finished with the road then. But yes, we are both completely ready to go to the pool when we are finished here. Cross fingers. <laughs> Cross fingers. Yes, somebody was not too happy. <laughs> but we will get there. Anyway, all right, let's start our recipe today. Today is a cream of mushroom soup. Mm -hmm. Libby is helping me because, Libby, what is one of your favorite foods? Mushrooms. Mushrooms. She is my only child in this house that loves mushrooms. The others oh said God. they will try the dinner um, or the lunch, but she's absolutely loves it. So she's looking forward to it. So let's get started. First, we are onion. going to cut the onion. We are going to cut the onion. Cut noise. All right. We only need a little bit of onion, and I have my oh, oh. Libby. Oh, my hand my. me my Libby. Can you get me my garbage bowl? Garbage bowl. The green one. Garbage bowl. All right. We have our garbage bowl again to put all the garbage in. Keep things nice and clean. I'm going to cry because it's got onions. <laughs> Funny thing is, you wear contacts, onions don't bother you. I know. Mm. All right, we're going to slice through the onion. Making matchstick lines through it and ornaments it real good. Yep. Now I'm making small cuts here. Small slices that will end up with small minced onion for us. All right. So just a little bit of onion. And we are going to take that and we're going to take it over to the pot. Now we have um, our large pot. You need a large enameled or cast iron style pot to cook this in. Libby is going to throw the onions in. I've melted some butter in there and we're going to add the onions to that and let them cook in the butter. They're going to cook in the butter for about eight to ten minutes. Um, I am using, let me show you, I am using some dairy free butter today so that Libby can eat this since mushrooms are her favorite. Um, this is the butter that we are using. Or um, there's also a country crock plant-based butter that we absolutely love. If you or someone in your family is glute, is dairy-free, um, this is a great option for you. Or the country crock one. Anyway, we're gonna let that cook for about 10 minutes and then we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, now you can see the onions are getting translucent and cooked, but they are not quite browned yet. You don't want to take them to the browning point. And now we are going to add three tablespoons of flour. My, okay. <laughs> this is gluten-free flour, yes, because like I said, we are making this Libby friendly today. We do not call things gluten-free or dairy-free. We call them Libby friendly. So when you're measuring flour, it's important to take a big overheaping scoop and then just scrape off the excess. Do not pack down and do not shake. Libby, can you dump that in? Yep. And then, oh, but oh all of it. There we go. It won't get out. And then we got two more. Ooh, all right. Let's see. Can you get one more? While I stir this, can you get one more? And cook out the floury taste for a minute. There, you go. there we go. 
What we're doing here is called making a roux. One more. It smells delicious in here right now. One more. Nope, that's all. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're gonna cook that for just a minute. I'm gonna clean this off. We're not gonna get it to complete brown state. Just cooking out that floury taste. All we want the flour for is to thicken. Right, now I'm gonna move it off the heat so it doesn't get too overcooked. Off the heat now and I'm gonna add our chicken stock. I lost my helper here, but we can go ahead without it. I'm gonna beat in the chicken stock with my whisk. You wanna do this quickly while it's still warm so you get all that flour mixed in. And a little bit more stock here. An important thing that I have found um, oh, my helper's back. Yeah, I just got her one second. <laughs> Where'd you go? I went to the TV for a minute. Oh, the TV. All right, an important thing to know if you have someone in your family that is gluten or dairy free, um, I think it's mainly the dairy you have to worry about, but in chicken stocks, a lot of times you'll find either a thickener or a lot of times dairy. Um, so you have to watch the ingredients. This is the only, one of the only brands we can buy that doesn't have the dairy in it. Um, the generic ones do not work because they have things in it that she can't have. So, we're gonna finish mixing that. Libby, can you mix that for a minute? Okay. okay. Oops. Dropped it. I got it. It's making noise. It is. And we're gonna add a couple sprigs of parsley. I don't like parsley. Parsley adds flavor. I don't like it. Yeah. Some thyme. Some what? Just a little bit of thyme. A little bit of thyme. I'm going to show you what she's doing here. Oh, my arm's falling in. So we've got parsley in there. Now we've got some thyme in there. And we're gonna add two bay leaves. Or one bay leaf, one bay leaf, not two. Six gross, but it might taste good. It looks gross? Yeah. <laughs> and Wonderful so honesty from my child. <laughs> looks gross. But it will taste good because it has mushrooms in it. We're gonna cut these stems from the mushroom. All right, we have the stems separated, separated from the caps. It was a pound of mushrooms. And we separate the stems because we're gonna cook them first and then the mushrooms, the caps last. And Libby is eating her little snack while we cook. Should we eat when we're cooking? No. <laughs> Do you want to try and chop this up? Oh. <laughs> I'm not good at cutting. <laughs> All Let right. Go. Remember how we want to hold it. Nope. Let go. We want your fingers here, your thumb here. There you go. And you. There you go. See, you have more control now. A little bit more. All right. Now let mom. So now we have the chopped up stems and we're going to add them to, we will add these to our chicken broth. Now we are just going to simmer the mushrooms and onions and chicken stock. We will simmer that partially covered. I'm going to put it back on the heat and partially cover it 
for about 20 minutes. And then we'll be back and see what it looks like. The um, chicken broth and mushroom stems and onions have been cooking for about 20 minutes now. And now we're gonna slice up some mushrooms. The next step is slicing a pound of mushrooms. Um, we're gonna make them very thin slices. And you can see I put them bottoms down to help hold them better. And take some real thin slices. You need a very sharp knife to be able to do this. And kids, do not do this. Because <laughs> if you don't know how to do it, don't do it. <laughs> you may cut yourself. Do you want to try one, Libby? Okay. okay so this. No, nope, like that. Mm hmm. No, hold. You want to hold the mushroom. Curled fingers, curled fingers, no matchsticks. You want to do thin slices. Now move your fingers back a little bit. disappeared <laughs> and you keep stealing mushrooms I love mushrooms We've got a little stem. Libby is eating all of our mushrooms this soup is used a lot in French cooking for very elegant meals or a Sunday dinner so next elegant meal you have which we don't really have those but maybe you do Get some cream of mushroom soup. Whole pound here of mushrooms sliced thinly. What do all Julia Child recipes need? Butter! We are gonna put more butter. We're using the dairy free butter, of course. In a pan, we're gonna put a couple tablespoons of it and cook the mushroom caps in that. Two tablespoons of butter here. Yep, you have to let it melt, melt, melt. Oh, I have to go for a minute. <laughs> Add our mushrooms in with that. Add a couple pinches of salt. Don't stir them too much. Just let them kind of saute and wilt down till they're all cooked up in that butter. All the mushrooms are continuing to cook here for about five minutes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start the next step, which we are gonna be using two egg yolks and heavy cream. But like I said, because I'm making this so that Libby can have all of it, I am gonna be making my own dairy-free um, heavy cream. And we'll see how that works. To make the heavy cream, here, let me stir our mushrooms real fast. Ah, one. Is it very hot, Libby? Oh, hot. All right, to make the heavy cream, we're gonna need that is really hot. about three fourths a cup of heavy cream. So to make it, I'm gonna put, to make dairy free, I am gonna put about a half a cup of almond milk. Of almond milk, or you could use soy milk, whatever non-dairy milk you like. But I don't like soy milk. <laughs> and then a fourth a cup of oil. Oil. The heavy cream has more um, fat in it, so adding the oil or melted butter to the milk gives it the consistency of a heavy cream. All right, and then we're gonna take two eggs. We're only gonna use the yolks. So I'm gonna crack the egg. Get only the yolk out. And throw the yolk in with the cream that we made. One more egg. Oop, I lost my yolk. She lost two yolks. We can get it. There we go. There's my yolk. She put it on her hand now. Good save. She has to clean her hand. 
All right, and you whisk that together real good in the cream. Now I'm gonna turn my mushrooms off because I think those are done. Wash my hands. I think it's good. And I'm going to beat in. Now you can see I have our soup and I'm going to take a little bit of the soup and put it in with the cream. A little bit at a time and gently stir that. This is tempering it a little bit. Yep. And then a little bit more. Libby, whisk that a little bit without yes. spilling. You'll have to use your hand. Mix real slow so it won't pour. Now we're going to take it and add it back in to the soup mixture. A little bit at a time. And then we're going to heat it up to kind of poach the eggs a little bit. Um, we're gonna poach the eggs a little bit, but you wanna do it over a moderate heat, but not too hot. You don't want to cook the eggs. If it gets to a point of simmering, she says, do not let it simmer. Um, so you don't want any, any of it boiling at all. So I'm gonna turn my heat down a little bit. And I just realized I did miss a, um, a step in this. So that is cooking for you, this happens. And I knew that was gonna happen with me doing these Julie Child's recipes, but hopefully it's still gonna turn out perfect. The step that I missed was taking this out before you add the egg yolk mixture and straining it. Um, straining off the mushroom stems, getting all the juice out of them. So I am going to do that now since I forgot to do it before. So you can see here, I strained it all out. Get all that juice. All that juice. Yeah. All right. We need to. That juice is not as good. Oh, you oh. should not do that. Now I'm going to add what I strained back into, oops, that is hot, back into the soup pot. Don't burn your finger. There you go. And remember, again, this should have happened before adding the cream. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pour the mushrooms that I saute and take them. Tastes excellent. Saute mushrooms are my favorite. No one like and put them in in the soup, in the base soup. Okay, I'm gonna let that cook. Remember, don't get it completely to simmering, but let that cook for about 10 minutes. Okay. And then we will be finished and ready for lunch. Are you hungry, Libby? You're hungry. Yes! All right, stay tuned. The soup has been simmering for about 10 minutes um, and you can see it is finished here. I am going to flip this around and let you see Libby taste some of it. Libby's hungry. Get you a spoon. Oh, wait, let's put a dollop of butter in it. I've moved the butter back in here. Mix that in there, let that melt. All right, now take a bite, Libby. Ooh, ooh, it's hot. hot. Mmm, good. Do you approve? I approve. <laughs> Very good.
Thank you guys for joining us again today. We're going to have some lunch, yep. um, some cream mushroom good. soup, try and make the others eat it. And yep. um, then we are going to try and head to the pool and see if we can get through now. I hope you guys have a great blessed rest of your day. And remember to love and care for all. I will see you guys again tomorrow. Hit subscribe so you don't miss a video. Goodbye.